It's heartbreaking to see a marine mammal tangled up in derelict fishing line. It's sad to see an otherwise beautiful Hawaiian beach covered in a vast array of plastic. It's telling when the stomach contents of seabirds often show they've ingested these plastics. Marine debris can have numerous impacts on the natural environment, many of them detrimental to the overall health of the ecosystem. And then most importantly is just addressing the root of the issue is just waste. Making sure that your waste is going to the proper disposals. Being sure to recycle, trying to reuse and reduce your impact. Um, and your dependency on plastic. A Department of Land and Natural Resources and North Pacific Marine Science Organization commissioned aerial survey of all coastlines in the main eight Hawaiian islands shows, not surprisingly, that plastic items constitute most of the marine debris landing on our shores. The study, Japanese Tsunami Marine Debris Aerial Imagery Analysis and GIS Support in the main Hawaiian Islands, was funded by the Ministry of the Environment of Japan as part of the Japan Tsunami Gift Fund awarded to Western states, including Hawaii. Here's Kirsten Moy, DLNR's Marine Debris Coordinator in the Division of Aquatic Resources. Developed this study to send up an aircraft, a manned aircraft, and take high-resolution imagery of all of the coastlines of the main Hawaiian Islands. And um, we were looking at 200 to 300 meter swaths of coastline. And then in that imagery, we were actually able to later go in using GIS and pinpoint every single debris item on a beach. So an item like um, a milk jug, for instance, something like this, you would be able to actually see in that imagery. Um, and then we were finding vessels and abandoned shipping containers. And so we went through and quantified and categorized all of the debris in the main Hawaiian islands. The survey found that due to the particular ocean currents surrounding Niihau, it has the highest overall concentration of marine debris in the state. 38% of the total debris identified in the surveys conducted between August and November 2015 was found on Niihau. All other islands had 14% or less of the debris identified, with Oahu having the least density at only 5%. It's not very surprising to see that plastics is the majority of these items, and that small items in particular are really what we were observing, because what you get, especially on Oahu, is a lot of great cleanup effort. And the state also has done a very good job in the past of responding to large debris items. So when we do have larger items that wash up on shore, typically they're noticed, they're reported, and they're removed. The problem is the very small pieces of plastic, the microplastics, that even with four hours of effort, you could really never cover a beach of this size. Suzanne Case, DLNR Chair, comments, this survey found a very limited amount of debris associated with the Japan tsunami. Most of what was mapped is common, everyday items that someone haphazardly tossed under the ground or directly into the water. These items get caught up in ocean currents, and unfortunately, much of it eventually lands mostly on north and east facing shores. Hawaii is recognized around the world for our beautiful beaches. Unfortunately, we cannot say they are pristine because they've been so seriously impacted by our trash.